Hello, 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 everybody, uh, and welcome to the stream with me, Forte07. Um, happy Wednesday, and happy Strange Events Day, or something like that, on my calendar. I'm not really sure what that means. Um, it has a picture of a pig with a flying pig on the day, but it just seems like a very uh, ambiguous holiday. Holiday being in quotes, of course. Um, anyway, yeah, we are back with more Pokemon. And I apologize if I sound super out of it. I'm, I'm having kind of a bad day, to be honest. Um, I forgot what we were doing already. And... Yeah, I'm just... God damn it. Oh, hi, hi, this is Amy. I'm raising Pokemon with Liv. We're trying very hard. If we try harder, can we become number one? Bye-bye. Um, but yeah, today's been a day. Don't really know how to describe it more than that. Um, shit. I don't know if I'm just being, like, overly emotional or something right now because I haven't been sleeping well lately still, or, or what, I'm just, I keep finding myself, uh, overwhelmed by stuff. Um, and worried about future events. I still don't have the mock bike, so I can't go up to get the fucking fossil in the tower. Maybe we should go down and get the bike real quick and see about getting a fossil. Because if we get one of the fossils, that counts as a, a new poke on once we get the, um, the ability to revive it. So it would be best if I don't skip getting it right now. Um, I think tonight's basically going to be a training night. Because I want to take care of Norman, I guess, before we leave. I mean, I suppose we could always go on without... No, I think we have to beat him first before we can go anywhere. Um, before we get our... Whatever the next thing is to progress. I don't fully remember. That's why I have this guidebook, um, over here, and it would probably help if I just looked at the damn thing. Okay, let's see if we can find the fucking tower. I don't really want to be in the desert, though. Oh, okay. We're not gonna do this on the bike. Ah, oh, shit. I probably just should have stayed on the bike. Um. But yeah, we're going to, uh, just train up for now. I actually don't have my Bulbapedia tab open that has the levels for Norman's Pokemon in this game. Because again, the guidebook I have is uh, for Ruby and Sapphire. So the levels are going to be off. And it would be really bad if I wandered in there and got my ass handed to me because I was using the wrong numbers. Okay, his slacking is at 31. That's his highest level Pokemon. Um, our Machoke here is at 32. But as with any gym battle, I'd like us to be a little over-leveled to hopefully, um, I need to minimize this, it's gonna crazy. Um, to hopefully give us a boost, or an advantage, I guess, when it comes to speed. Okay. And of course, Funny. Trying to find just like the quick little to do list. I don't know. The quick walkthrough. So let's see. My bad. Sorry. Lava Ridge. Burn the turf. Rest turf. Petalburg. After Petalburg, we gotta do the Mauville City stuff. And then we can go to Route 119. 
I don't even remember how to get over to Route 119. Like, I'm totally blank. Oh, we have to get Surf, don't we? I don't know who the fuck we're gonna teach Surf to. And I think, unfortunately, um, Elo Pool or Gyarados got revived on accident, so having her in our party bad? Because I'd probably forget and end up using her on accident. Fucking tower at. I don't really want to train in the desert though. Tower. No, fuck is it. God damn it. I don't know where. I'm assuming this book has a map. Or if it did have a map, it was probably the poster and I took it out. Using this guy. I, I need a map. Maps of Cohen. Page 15. Oh, never mind. That's like the individual town and route maps, not like an overall map. I'll just check my in-game town map instead of using the book because it doesn't want to cooperate. Well, I guess it's not a matter of it cooperating. It's a matter of... Uh... It's a matter of... I lost my train of thought not knowing where it is in this particular book. Okay, well it's not up here. in the desert. Oh, I forgot that we're leveling up Trapinch at the same time. Okay. Key items. Feeling daring, I could use a match call to see if anyone wants to rebattle. Eh, I'm gonna look at it. I don't know if I'm gonna do it or not. Do they always have like these little. Oh, okay. Like, main NPCs have. Okay, well, I guess we're not- Oh, wait a minute! Hold on a second! There's a switch off thing! Oh, no, that's just leaving it. I was like, oh, I can get them to stop calling me? That'd be great! No, that's not what that fucking means at all. I still don't know where a good place to train would be. Maybe? Maybe west of Fall Arbor? I'm not sure. Um... Also, I'm thinking, just because I'm not feeling the greatest, this might be a really short stream. We might just play for an hour or so, not two hours or longer or whatever. Because I'm just super low on energy. And I hate it. And I don't want to be so uh, deadpan during the stream. Oh, here we go. The tower is back here. Neat. Um, and I know it's like I could have just not streamed in general, but I feel bad because Friday stream's not happening, and last Friday didn't happen, so it's, like, I'll try a little bit, see if just sitting back and playing a game will help, though I don't know if this is really the best game for me to play, um, and I'm upset considering this game can be a bit stressful to my, <laughs> my
my mental state anyway, depending how things go. But considering we're just training right now, I, I don't think it's... It won't be too bad, I hope. Oh, that's right, I wasn't going fast enough. I don't know how I'm gonna be able to go fast enough if I keep... I, I should have some repels. I'll say, uh, if we keep getting... Down and keeps falling off my lap. Um, so if we keep running into things, it, as in encounters, uh, it's going to ruin my speed. Oh, we didn't switch bikes? Oh, this is the wrong fucking bike. I thought we... Was I really not paying them? Ah, oh, Jesus. Okay, never mind. Well, we just wasted that rappel. Fuck. Ah. I thought we switched bikes. I guess I just really was not paying attention. I thought something fell off. The mock bike, though, in general, feels off. Um, on this emulator, so... It doesn't help. Oh, also I wanted to say, uh, say thank you to Deven Soul one for the follow. They followed right after the end of the last stream, so I didn't get a chance to to say anything, and I'm sorry. Crap, now I gotta fandangle the stupid Mirage Tower back. Okay, there we go. I didn't realize that we picked this one up. I just guess I just forgot what bike I had. Also, I think I feel hiccups coming on and that's annoying. Okay, we're not riding it. To get over there. So you're gonna get lucky? No. Okay. Go over here, that counts as a different route. Very cool, that works. Alright. First, now we're going to use our regular repels just in case, even though I guess I should have waited till we were up on the second floor. It's down this way. Oh, okay, we can't go that way. Of course not, that'd be too easy. I, I hate that it throws me off the bike each time I fall down that hole. Shit. Stop throwing me off the bike. Oh, well, we're just gonna chance it. As soon as I say we're just gonna chance it. Man, I miss the, the later additions to this game where they just automatically ask if you want to use one if you have one in your bag. Instead of making you go into your bag again to use it. I didn't realize how much that was actually... Like, I took it for granted. I don't know if we're gonna be able to do this. Um, it seems my I can't put the inputs in on the keys fast enough to not bonk um, on the wall. Like there's there seems to be a slight input lag. I'm wondering if I- it almost feels like I have to let up on the other button for a half a second to 
be able to just go back and forth like that even. That's interesting. I know it's a ground type, but geez, fighting moves even being 12 levels higher than this fucking Sandro won't kill it? I wonder if we got a Machop with just bad sets. this is actually gonna work. We might not be able to get our fossil. Like I want to. Um. Might have to just abandon it, at least for now. Or something, because I'm not sure how to do this. Because again, this controls a little differently than what I'm used to. We almost got it there the first time, but... That was probably just a fluke. I need to go into an area that... I need to just like... Get a handle on. on the bike. Because if we do it in the tower, not having a rappel is just going to make it more difficult. <sighs> Though I might just give up on it for now. Because I think it's a while before we even get the um, ability to resurrect the fossil anyway so there's there's no point in worrying it about it at the moment I guess we can always come back for it I know where they are I just I just want to get back up to Fall Arbor which unfortunately we're using the more annoying video the video, sorry. Uh, bicycle to get back over here. Oh, I guess I could have healed at the old lady's house, kind of. I cut up my bad. I said video because I was looking behind me. The video was playing on my PlayStation and I couldn't recognize it, and my subconscious thoughts just got in the way there. I need to go heal. to get as much experience here as I want to. It almost seems like we'd be better off in the Mirage Tower, um, just because the Pokemon are slightly higher level and I don't have to deal with the Sandstorm in there. But... No, shit! house is both convenient and inconvenient at the same time. So I just want to go up here. I think there's only secret base locations up here, but I want to check for items. Oh no, there's a trainer. I don't really want to fight him. Is there anything else up here? No. Just that guy. Okay. Wait. Shit! I train myself, I challenge all whom I meet. I wanted to go- Oh, that just leads to a secret base too. I just got caught in this battle for no reason. Fuck. Oh, that's about right. I think I only have the one with chop though. Copycat. Run 
back to the old ladies if we need healing. Sorry, my ear really itches. The thing is, is just the obvious level difference here isn't gonna be able to like blast through the spinder really fast. It's just not going to give us a lot. But I don't want to. Fighting in the desert is just an annoying idea, and I don't want to do it. If we can get my choke up to maybe level 35 by the time I, I feel like leaving tonight, I guess I'll be content. Um, I can't stay on playing games too late anyway, although that's ever stopped me before, but I got work I gotta do, like, usual. Um, but it's like this weekend I'm busy, I'm supposed to be helping my sister with that competition thing. So it's like I'm not going to be home, so I need to make sure all my work done is done before then. because I'm feeling so out of it, I'm really tired, and of course that's always a pain in the ass. And because I said something, now I'm yawning, fuck. Fights go by relatively quickly. It's just gotta watch the startup animation every time, and they just give so little. They're barely given a hundred points per encounter. Let's see. Maybe at least six more fights or battles, I guess, to get a level on both of them. More like seven, with them only giving 90. Seven or eight, thereabouts. Of course, we don't even get 91 every time. Sometimes it's like, what, 85, 86? Yeah, 85. Battle number two. For pension mod choke though should level up roughly around the same time. Ah, 
Oh, okay, just seven. That works. A vital throw. Let's see. Makes the user's move last, but it never misses. Good to like even see Norman. It would be better if everyone was at 35. I'd want them ideally a bit higher than that. Only four levels above his highest is it ideal, but considering our considering our lack of training areas right now. Where we're not gonna get damage done to us the whole time we're in there. I'm not sure how viable that is. If we're training Trapinch or... Well, Penance doesn't need training right now. But, I mean, he, he could use it later. He'd be fine out there. But everyone else would still take sand damage. The problem with that is that there's spoinks. And the spoink could do a lot of damage to my machop. I mean my machoke. So I don't know if it's really worth it to go all the way up there. That is kind of a pain to get to. And I don't have a lot of good training areas. I mean... I prefer better ones. I can't say these ones are... At least they're not a good match for me. But this is... Uh, we're just gonna have to, I guess, suck it up and fight in the desert? Because this is, this is gonna take too long if we stay here. We just don't get enough experience. It's, it just... It doesn't feel like it anyway. Of course, I guess going up against Baltoy is just as dangerous as going up against Spoinks. Oh! Especially if he does that. Only 82 points still? better off in the damn tower. These are level 20s. Well, at least we're kind of one-shotting things now. See, 100 experience is a bit better. I know it doesn't seem like much more, because it's not it's just 10, but I guess it's better than getting as low as 85. One-shot a level 21 trip pinch, but we can't one-shot a level 19 sand trip. I don't remember if we got a crit on that trip pinch, though. 26, yeah, still better. Even for a lower end sand trip. I just have to keep an eye on my health, considering I'm going to be taking um, sandstorm damage the whole time I'm in here. I hate sandstorm. <laughs> I forget, was it this game that also had the area with the blizzard in it though, too? I'm not gonna like that area either. Alrighty, these ball toys are just 
self-destructing all over the place, and I don't get as much experience when they do that. God damn it. Oh, hi, Forte. This is Isabel. Are you doing good? You should go home every so often, though. Bye-bye. No, going home is a whole to-do. Well, I guess it's not that far away. Not from Mobile, really, but the tunnel. I mean, I guess we're going to go see our dad eventually. No, I don't... Yeah, I don't think I'm gonna last too much longer. Ooh, I am really tired. I had a piece of cake right before the stream, and sometimes too much sugar makes me feel sleepy. But it wasn't that long ago that I had it, and it wasn't that big of a big piece. too because again I the amount of sleep I got last night isn't ideal I was up until 2 and then I fell asleep on the couch and woke back up at 6 fiddled around for a bit then fell asleep I think around like 11 o'clock got back up around 2 I guess I got kind of enough sleep but again I've been kind of losing it as well and catching up on sleep is darn near impossible Sorry, I'm, you guys can probably hear my anxious clacking on the keyboard while I'm waiting for things to load in. Ah, oh, pardon me. Okay, I guess it's just the trapinches that we can one shot. better if I can one-shot them, because then I won't take a stupid, uh, turn of sandstorm damage. normal for this run, but it's been so long, I think, since I've had to do a grinding session that I forgot how much of a slog it can be, and being tired doesn't help it. No, don't self-destruct! You butthole. Actually, I wasn't paying attention when you knocked out a bell toy normally if it gives me more experience or not. I just assumed that if it kills itself, then it's giving me less because I didn't do as much. I know that's not really how it works, but... Oops. Ah. My bad. What the hell? Hmm. I don't know what button that's mapped to to switch scenes. My bad. I didn't even know I had that set up, to be honest. I, would, I wouldn't be surprised if it was on the other computer, because I, I know I had more stuff set up on that one, but not on this one in particular.
bike, it's just me. Yeah, we're gonna stop at 9. I know it's a really short stream, but I'm just not into it right now, I'm sorry. Shit, critical, God damn it! I can't risk it. If I fight another battle toy and they do self-destruct and get another crit, uh, there goes my Machoke, and I can't have that happen because I need him for the next gym. So I'm just gonna keep running back to the old lady's house. Hi, old lady. So you think after a while she'd actually get tired of me coming into her house? I wasn't even gone five minutes that time, and I'm running back and- Hey! Kill my Pokemon! I mean, unless she just really likes the company. <sighs> God damn it! I don't know what's wrong with me! Keeping up with the sword and shield news, um, that they finally, well, not finally, I guess formally announced the Galarian, Galagarian, I think it's that one, uh, form of Ponyta. I really like the unicorn form, but I have to say I'm surprised that it's a psychic type, because I would have... I would have bet on it being a fairy type myself. Because I guess when I think unicorns, I think like mythical creatures like fairies, and it just sounded like a better idea than psychic for me. I mean, I would have been happy if it was even like a psychic fairy type like Ralts is, but nope, they just went solid psychic. Which, again, that's an interesting typing, I guess. I don't remember what far uh sir fetched um what its typing is, though now that I think of it. I just remember seeing them and laughing and then moving on. I didn't really look into them too too much. Oh god damn it, we got poisoned. I don't think we have any antidotes, do we? Do we have any antidotes? We have a full heal, I think. Okay. Uh, we're gonna run back down to Mavile, I guess, after this to go get healing items. But we're still at a decent enough health level that I don't want to leave yet. I forgot we used all those, um, antidotes earlier. Except I don't remember what it was against that we kept using antidotes. Was it against Sandrews? I don't remember. I haven't really been paying attention to the tree that I can see outside my sliding glass door though. I have to say... Um, when it comes to colors of leaves, I'm a little disappointed in the one that's in the front of my apartment building. I mean, the trees haven't really started to change color properly, or like all the way yet anyway, but the leaves that have fallen off so far are kind of bland. It's like, I hope it gets better. And any trees that I have seen actually change color, I'm pretty sure, like, older or dying or dead. Like, there's one down the road that uh, has all the leaves changed, but it got knocked over by the wind, so I just assume that's because it's been knocked over and not because of just the leaves changing color like normal. 
It's interesting that only one of- the, unless someone drove into it, but it's interesting that only one of the trees got knocked over if it was done by the, um, really heavy storms we were getting a few weeks ago. Okay, we're just gonna buy- wait, we have seven of those? God damn it, I just used my full deal for no reason. Well, okay, well, that's what I get for not looking in my fucking bag a bit more thoroughly than I did. Poop. That's a little obnoxious. See, it'd be nice if we could. Ah, oh, goddammit. If we could get into New Mobile now, because then we could train Trip Pinch on all the electric types there. And even Machoke, because I'm pretty sure there's Magnemites in that particular area. But we can't go in there until we defeat our dad, and I know we're not ready. I am... Well, with my luck, I wouldn't risk it, even if I thought it, if I was ready at this point, which I'm not. Twelve levels above these sand trees and we can't just one hit them. I, I know we don't have a type of advantage, but still you would think the level advantage would account for something. I guess I'm not very good with uh Pokemon stats though, so what do I know, I suppose? Oh cool, to pinch that 31. I don't know why his sprite's such a weird color, like his little mini sprite. just me, but I would assume a ball toy. I mean, I guess clay dolls don't want to claim the name, but I guess I assume ball toy is also kind of similar to ceramic or whatever. You think it'd be a bit more brittle and my karate chops would do more to it. it is it's psychic typing that's having my halving hal halving it's cutting my attack in half because psychic and fighting and blah 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 weaknesses still it's a little obnoxious okay one more and we'll run up to heal Why can't we just crit it and kill it? That'd be great. Enemy on the first turn, not the second turn. That doesn't 
doesn't help me. I guess it was that cake. Again, I don't normally get that sleepy from that little amount of sugar this fast. Also, I did feed my cat before the stream, but she hasn't been eating her food as well as she normally does. And even before I fed her, she still had food in there from this morning and it still looked fine and I was hoping she would eat it and she wouldn't. So I don't know what our problem is. No, we're not Psybeam. I guess I'm just lucky that this bell toy isn't using Psybeam more often when I go up against them. And 34, cool. I'm just saying, I don't know if 35 is going to be enough levels above Norman's Pokemon. I'm pretty sure we had a, a slightly higher level advantage against the previous gym leaders. Again, as this is my only decent place to train. <sighs> and we're not even getting that much when it comes to experience anyway. Don't fuck you and your self destruct. I'm gonna go into the. T uh, well, if I see it, I'm gonna go into the Mirage Tower and see what the. Um, experience output is like in there because again it's a bit more beneficial if I'm in there than out in the actual fucking desert because then I'm not taking sandstorm damage and I don't think I'll have to worry about Valtoy I think it's just Trapinch and Sandshrew in that particular area And they give slightly more um, experience anyway. Oh cool, it's still here. I guess we technically haven't left this route. Even though we're going in and out of the old lady's house, I would assume that would move the tower. It might be. It's just I'm going in so much that it doesn't- and I'm not checking as often. It's just coming off that way. take a nap, but even if I stop and go and take a nap after this, one, there's no point because it'll be 9 o'clock and taking a nap at 9 o'clock is silly. I could always just go to bed and see about getting up at a decent time tomorrow. But I'm not good at getting up at decent times even if I go to bed early. That and if I go to bed too early, I tend to wake up like at 3 a.m. and then I'm up the rest of the morning and then I'm tired later on. Um... And two, I got a sketch commission from this past week and still that I need to finish so I can mail it out. And I don't want to hold that off anymore. I still have work I gotta do for the reason I mentioned earlier. So it's like, ah, I wish I wasn't so tired. I need, I, I got stuff I need to get done. <laughs> Sandshrew in here 
so far. I wanted to see. Oop. I wanted to see how much a trapinch would give us. Unless we already battled with trapinch and I'm just so out of it, I was not paying attention. We're still getting consistent 130 to 140 ish experience in here, though, so it's definitely better. Because they are, I think, consistently at a higher level. They're around 23 instead of 19, 21. Let's see. That gives me 119. Uh, still not bad. And I don't have to do deal with the 82 experience ball toy. And the sound. God damn it! I feel like that poison sting. Did they bump up the chance of getting poisoned by poison sting by this generation or something? I just feel like it, it's been happening too often. I had three. I mean, seven. Wow! I don't know what I was trying to say there. Oh, well, we're not going to get to level 35 before I stop here in a few minutes, but at least we got to 34. That's better than nothing, I guess. I don't know. Little things. And I do want to get everyone else up to 35. Definitely before we go to Norman. I don't know how useful they'll be in the long run of things, but better to have them all up to the same point than have someone fall behind and be something we have to fall back on. We're still getting over a hundred experience center in here, so it's still more beneficial to be in here than out in the actual desert. The only problem is, is now we're further away from the old lady's house where we need to go heal. I mean, I can use his other attacks other than just karate chop. The problem is that I won't be able to use this area as a training spot really for Fipple because this electric typing won't help me and I don't think I can quick attack sand trees and trapinches to death. They'll probably do more damage to me than I can to them. I might have to put the experience share on Fipple. I can't hate on Fipple too much even though I did that so much in the past considering that's what let us get past Watson, but that's... I don't know how much of a blessing that is.
wait. I was actually wondering who was closer to a level, if it was Machoke or Trapinch. than I thought he would, to be honest, though. So that's, that's good. It's gonna take a while before we can get into a ball, but he's, he's getting there. until my choke got to 35, but I'm just too... I'm so sleepy. I hate it. Oh, ah, fuck. of a dinner. Maybe it was more of a lunch earlier. Um, but it wasn't as filling as I'd like it to be. I went to Noodles and Company and I really liked their soup there, but the bowl of soup I got didn't have that much noodle in it. It was just basically broth and... well, even the chicken pieces were kind of um... disappointing. But the lack of noodles in my bowl was a little sad. It's like, it's called Noodles and Company. There's not that many noodles in this fucking bowl of soup. Which again makes me sad. I really like Noodles and Company soup. I'm pretty sure they close at night. I'll say there's a Noodles and Company close in the area. I could always go there and see if they could give me a soup that's better. Because with it getting colder, it's just soup weather, and I tend to eat a lot of soup around this time of year. <laughs> anyway, oops, I'm going to heal up and save, and then I'm going to call it for the night. Um, I'm sorry that the stream was so short. But like I said, I'm just... I am so out of it right now. I need to get my, my shit together. And... Hopefully things will, will normalize. Anyway, thank you for tuning in. I really do appreciate it. Um, don't forget about the socials. And of course, you can check out the vlogs on YouTube. Not the vlogs. The VODs. Hi, Twaz. I'm sorry. I'm actually ending because I'm, I'm super out of it right now. I'm sorry that you had to come in when I'm about to wrap up for the night. Uh... I didn't mean for things to be so freaking short. I'm just... <sighs> yeah, all over the place. Um... <laughs> oh, that's okay. d and is always a, uh, a perfectly reasonable reason to not go to other things. Um, don't forget, Friday's stream is cancelled because I'm supposed to be meeting up with my sister's group around, uh... 6.30 and then I won't be done with that until late Sunday night I think uh, so next stream should be Monday hopefully we'll be able to beat Sans we're getting close I can feel it um, but yeah I'm sorry tonight's stream was so short uh, but I will see you guys all next time until then take care have a good night and I'll see you later all right bye